We are in Windows 10 and I'm going to show you how to create a partition that can be read in both Windows and by Macs. Uh, so it only takes a second. Let's go ahead and right click on our this PC and that you can get to that from Windows Explorer and then click manage. Now once manage is open, click on disk management and from here you're going to see an unallocated uh, bit of space. Now in your case you may have a USB drive plugged in so you can swap it back and forth uh, so you might see an external drive plugged in down here. So uh, you simply right click on that unallocated space or even if it's allocated it doesn't matter and you're, if it's allocated already you're going to format it. If it's not allocated you click new simple volume. The same wizard will pop up regardless of whether it's allocated or not and we're going to go ahead and click next here we're going to choose to use all of the space, although that's up to you. And we're going to assign the following drive letter, the D drive. And from here, we're going to change our file system. So by default, it uses NTFS, which can generally not be read by Macintosh computers. So if you change that to the FAT32, then both Windows and Macintosh can read that. Leave the uh, uh, Perform a Quick Format box checked and finish. Now we're going to have a FAT32 partition that can be read by Macintosh and we can see it up here. We can go ahead and open it and there it is.